So I did the unboxing. You guys remember, has anyone been here since my kitchen floor days? Well, instead of crying on my kitchen floor over boys, I'm sitting in my luxury closet built by my husband talking about Prada bags. <laughs> so we've come a long way. But I unboxed this on, on TikTok and I thought it was like too beautiful not to share with you guys. I don't even know if I can like package it up the same, but it's so beautiful. I'm gonna try and repackage, get this magic back. I'm in this closet that my husband built for me when we moved into our house. There's a bunch of skims bags on the floor. Does anyone else hide Christmas presents in their closet? I'm buying presents. I never buy presents. We never really do presents um, because each Christmas, I always talk about this, but every holiday season I've been with my husband now, um, we've always put money towards like the first Christmas we, we spent together. Um, we got engaged, so he put money towards my ring and um, we put our, all of our savings to like get this house. The second Christmas we were together, um, sorry, that's my other thing. Second Christmas we were together, um, we got married. And we had our honeymoon in the Maldives, so we put all our money towards that. And so this Christmas, we're actually trying to like save money, um, but we are gonna get each other like little gifts. So I like hand little gifts in there. And I think I showed this back. Yeah, I already showed this back. My Bronziaga, the strap is fixed. The strap is now. Oops, kind of goes with. Kind of goes with the other I'm wearing now. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Okay. It's a real vibe. A real star of the show. I've seen everyone get this bag. I saw it on the Kardashians. You guys know how I love the Kardashians. And I've gotten all the Bling Balenciaga bags. Um, so I was like, I have to get this Bling product because I also follow Lena the Plug. That's that's like her name that I know on like online. Her real name's Lena, but I'm just trying to think of her. I felt like her mom vlogs on TikTok. Anyways, I love her. You guys know I love Lana. She's absolutely amazing. But I saw her not only get one of these bags, but she literally got one in every color. And I was like, you know what? I really want one of these bags. And they like sell out so quickly. I saw one at Bergdorf Goodman online. It was sold out. Then I saw one at Saks and that was sold out. So I had to get mine off Prada. And it's such an early 2000s. Let me show you this. ASMR. I have an ASMR channel if you don't know. And if your heart stops beating, dun, 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 will you get what you deserve? You guys, I miss my chemical romance when they were here in LA because I was um, I was only like three weeks postpartum, and like I, I like thought about going first. Well, like I'm like okay, I cannot leave my newborn to go see my chemical romance. Um, but like I was supposed to see them in 2020, and obviously you guys know what 2020 happened. Like their dates just getting postponed. And yeah, I was basically, I was pregnant all the other dates that they were in the U.S. So I couldn't really go my last month of pregnancy. And then I was postpartum when they were here in L.A. And now they're done, except they're going to Australia. So if you guys are in Australia, let me know if Melbourne or Sydney is a better place or Brisbane. Tell me which place is the best place to go visit because I might just have to take a family vacation. Because she'll be like like six months by then. So I think we could take like a little family vacation. Um... <laughs> Because my husband was actually like, you could go if you want, like, go with your sister. But I was like, oh, I can't, like, you know, I don't want to leave my baby. But I think it's six months, I think. I don't know. I still have my mom guilt. But, like, honestly, I, like, I don't want to miss out. When I went to the When We Were Young Festival, oh, no, I didn't go. When I saw the When We Were Young Festival on Ve in Vegas, I was like, oh, man, I want so much. Look, I don't feel like I missed out. Obviously, I'd much rather have my daughter than go see my young romance. But can't you have both in life? I don't know. I go back and forth. When was the first time that you left your like baby after birth like I know some people say oh like eight months or some people say like they've never left their child alone <laughs> someone told me like a week after they gave birth they're like yeah I went out to dinner with my friends um I don't really have any friends I don't have that problem but let me know I really do struggle with like mom guilt like even like just like going to get I got coffee this morning like I just sat and got coffee and I like the guys did under like oh it's work you know because I filmed it <laughs> but I was just like I just want a little coffee break but you know, then you feel like guilty. I don't know. Anyways, okay. Back to the product. This is, I already unboxed this though. So pretty though. It's so pretty. Look how gorgeous. First of all, this box is like amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm in my closet too, because. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, we're trying to like save money. And like, I look at it as like, okay, if I can save like a thousand dollars a month, it's good. But my husband looks at it at like, you know, this bag costs like $2,000. He's like, okay, yes, we saved a thousand, which is good, but we could have saved 3000. And I was like, yes, um, which is some, something I need. So I'm not like mad at him about it, but you know, sometimes I'm like, okay, well I saved a thousand. Like, can I spend 2000? Like, you know what I mean? Um, but I think if we just had that that thousand dollars still, you know, saved each month, I think it's okay. Anyways, isn't this so beautiful? This is just in the lighting. I don't even think it's like doing it justice because the like lighting in here is making it like so sparkly. It's so early 2000s. So is my t-shirt. So is my hair right now. It's giving me, this is a story about a girl named Lucky Vibes. Okay. But what I love is like, I love little purses, but a lot of times my arm doesn't fit through them. I have a big arm. Is this not like so cute? I can wear this to my young woman. It's not I think it's so adorable. Yes, my name, my name is Bella Hadid. <laughs> so cute, right? I don't know, is there anything else to show you guys? I just love being in my closet. Whenever I'm in this closet, I feel like a little kid. <laughs> little Trish would be so excited to like see my shoe collection. Like, it's so pretty. I have my tripod in here because I was doing a TikTok, but like, those are my wedding shoes. Like, little Trish is just like, we got married in Jimmy Choo's. <laughs> and then, like, you guys were literally on my Louis Vuitton boot as my tripod. I just, and then I have these amazing heels that I never wore. I just think they're stunning. Where would I ever wear these? Especially now as a mom. Like, do I wear these to my chemical romance concert? Probably not. <sighs> but anyways, I wanted to show you guys this. I love this purse so much why do I love purses so much any other purse enthusiasts out there that are just like like me where it's just like so shiny so sparkly why do we like it? I just love these I, but this I'll actually like wear I love the strap of it too I actually wore my Balenciaga out this weekend when we went to celebrate my husband's birthday we went away for a little bit um to like this like five-star hotel it's like so fancy so I wore my Balenciaga so I could look fancy too but this is great. And this is like half the cost of any Balenciaga bag because I think the pink sparkling one, I can't tell you no, I don't even want to tell you because honestly it is like, I shouldn't have spent that much money. Like I do have, I do feel a little guilty sometimes spending money on myself now that I have a daughter. Like I really do. Um, cause I just want everything for her. Like for sure next year I'm not going to have a birthday. Like I'm not going to even like do anything. I don't even want to go to dinner for my birthday. Like I just want to put everything towards my daughter's birthday and make it like so epic. Um, but you know, I just, yeah, I'm going to use this purse a lot. I do love purses. I envision going to a My Chemical Romance concert with this purse. Actually, this might be a more of a My Chemical Romance. But, like, this is smaller. I don't know, guys. Anyways, I had, like, five coffees this morning. So, I don't know. I'm feeling just very wanting to talk. Oh, I could wear these to My Chemical Romance concert. Let me show you guys since you're in my closet. And also, do you wear the band band piece to the concert? I have once heard that it's like not cool to wear the band tee to the band's concert. Like I can't wear my Chemical Romance t-shirt to a and my Chemical Romance concert because it's like not cool. You wear them after the concert. Is that true or is that just something I heard and literally made up? Let me know. I also got a new iPhone, but I'm carrying both around at the moment because this is like my filming one right now, even though the camera's better on this one. And I get my text messages on this one, but my WhatsApp is still on here. So I'm just, you know, and my videos and, and photos are on this, the one I'm filming with, and this doesn't have any. My drafts are for my TikToks are on this one and not this one. So yeah, I got this purple. It's kind of like iridescent, but you can't really tell. Anyways, I did a full ASMR unboxing on my ASMR channel with this as well. So, all right. So much skims. I should probably like organize my closet. Uh, anyways, I love being in here. It's like magical to me. All right, that was my product unboxing. I wanted to show you guys because I showed TikTok and TikTok got excited for it. So I wanted to get excited with you guys too. Nice box actually. I like to preserve these because if you do sell your purses, if you have the original box, you like get more. I think I sold some purses on my Poshmark. I always I always sell purses because like I always want to get new purses. 
but I have to rationalize it by like, I don't know how I do this. Okay, well, we're gonna just, we're gonna just pretend. All right, I hope you guys are having an amazing life because we all deserve to have amazing lives. Life is beautiful. And one thing my daughter has taught me is life is just such a gift and such a beautiful gift and like life's worth living. And I don't mean that in a cheesy way, I mean that in a very sincere way. Life is worth living because y'all know I've been like so depressed most of my life. I was like spiraling most of my like adult life. And like since having my daughter, I was like, wow, like, and it's not, it's not that easy. I know, trust me, I'm not like depression cured, life's worth living, but life is precious. And I do think of each day as like a gift, right? Like just getting a phone call because I love them. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Thanks guys for watching and yeah. Or should I do the white Prada? White Prada? I really need to go out more. <laughs> it's like more of these shoes more. I also have this really cute. I did wear this shoe out. Mm -hmm. Squishy. It's good for you some more. Little squishy squish. Louis Vuitton used to make really cute boots. I don't know anymore. Oh, this was the rest of the product packaging that came with the bag. Ugh. I was actually watching Lena's vlogs in Italy. She went with her daughter. So if you want to go to Italy now. And she said that like these bags are only like seventeen hundred over there or something. They're like way cheaper. But I mean, you have to fly to Italy to get it, so it cost the plane ticket. But I guess if you're already over there, but oh yeah, I gotta save the paperwork too. So yeah, I did get this from the Prada store online. Oh, now I'm thinking I want one in every color. She got one in every color, and I got the little banana bag. I'm not wanting to because I need to like, she's like baller. I've been like spending so much money and I'm like, oh. Where should I put it? Should we put it up here real quick? Okay, let's put it up here. So this is like so not organized. <laughs> I'm not like the most organized person, but move the Birkin over because honestly Birkins are a little overrated. This here and this one here. Oh, the bling. I have my bling tie pen next to it. And my bling Gucci. I love these glasses so much. The bling is everything. So I think we're going to push all this. Oh my god, I have Queen of Hearts glasses. I could use this from the Queen of Hearts ASMR. Okay, another bling tie pen. Oh, pearl necklace I got for my birthday this year. From. I have these because I was like obsessed with Desperate Housewives earlier this year, so I wanted a pearl necklace. I've got a bling Mason Pearson brush, I love the bling, but I just need to be in here a little bit. So we'll just put this here. Some pens, the bling glasses. I'll organize this better, but you know, for now, because we got the bling Birkin behind it, you know. And then I have the bling Gucci. ASMR. I feel like it's kind of ASMR because I'm like whispering when my daughter's sleeping. Okay. I'm watching her. But we got the bling Gucci as well. Does this even fit my wrist? Let's see. I'm going to be triggered if it doesn't. Okay, it fits. Alright, there we go. Okay. And... bling lighter i don't even smoke i just like this lighter what else is bling what else is bling um we have the bling sad boy necklace these are 50 percent off now if you go to sadboy2005.com not this size they're a little smaller but they're available there <laughs> and yeah look how do you ring that like almost fits again kind of sort of now I'm just like keeping you guys in here, but it's so pretty. It's like so shiny. It's so shiny underneath that light. I like it. I like it, Picasso. Okay. I'm going to go. 
I have some more ASMR videos I gotta film today. So, thanks for playing in my closet. Oh, these shoes too. Oh, look at my shoes. Oh, they're so pretty. I haven't worn them yet, but it'll go with my Prada bag too. All right, guys. I don't even know what this channel is anymore. I'm just posting the most random things ever. Um, that's it. Please bring back Lost. If there's a Lost reboot, I want to be in it. And we need to bring Saeed back because he's my favorite character. I watch him. I watch Naveen Andrews on The Cleaning Lady, but it just doesn't hit like Saeed, you know? It just doesn't hit like Saeed. It's good. I like it. And they're doing the dropout movie. Adam McKay is dropping in. Sorry. And Jennifer Lawrence just dropped out, which is crazy because Jennifer Lawrence would be like the best Elizabeth Holmes. I just hope they cast Naveen Andrews as Sunny because he was so good in the dropout and got robbed of his Emmy. So they need to cast him because he's he's so good at playing like real people. <laughs> like anytime he plays like he was in the Princess Diana movie with Naomi Watts and he played like a real person and he's just like so good. Like it's just I don't know. I would like to be in it too. I actually do have really good Elizabeth there. Elizabeth there. Elizabeth Holmes. What is the line she says? I did a whole ASMR where it's like I can't even think of her line. I can get into character, I can't think of her line. Let me ask my husband real quick. Wait, what was that line from the dropout? Like, do you remember the line we always said? What was the line? I was trying to do my impression of Elizabeth Holmes. I forgot the line already. An inspiring step forward. Oh, yeah. Is that a, oh, yeah. Is it a very inspiring or just, it's an... It's an inspiring oh. step forward. This... This is an inspiring step forward. This is an this is this is an inspiring step forward. But I guess Jennifer Lawrence dropped out because she said Amanda Seyfried was already so good that she didn't want to like be compared to it. But I'm willing yeah. to take on that challenge. I mean, look at that bitch now. <laughs> right, that's right. Oh yeah, that's right. That guy from Euphoria is on it. I think I could play it. I, I was being so serious. She's so cute. She's like all playing. I was being so serious on our walk yesterday where I asked Moses, I'm like, do you think I could play Elizabeth Holmes? Like, do you think I could lose like 100 pounds in two months before they start filming? He's like, yeah. <laughs> and I really feel like I could. And I was like, I was going to dedicate all my energy. So if you want Elizabeth Holmes, I just probably need to lose like literally 100 pounds because she was tiny. But I'm down to play it. I'm down for the challenge. I mean, I've never lost weight in my life, but I could... Keto workouts every day. No. Babe, I've been trying to do keto since I've been off pregnancy, but someone brings me muffins in bed every morning. No, I'm trying to do it. <laughs> Babe, I can't do it. You're the one that's like, oh, here's a muffin. Here's a muffin. You don't need it, but if you want to look like her for the role, it's a different story. He actually thinks that I could get the role too, which I love too. I love that we were even entertaining the idea of how I'm going to do this. Anyways, all right, that's it. I would show you guys our room, but it's a little messy at the moment. That's why I'm not showing you it. She's so cute. All right, I will play with my daughter because she's so adorable. All right, that's it. This was my view, by the way. This is my view. <laughs> so cute. This is just, this is everyday life when you have a baby. It's so fun. Look at her. Aww. <laughs>